I got this on loan from kwtelescope.com. It's a, uh, a Pegasus Astro Power Box. Um, the um, Power Box is designed to supply power to your accessories that are on the telescope um, and that operate with the telescope. So the camera, say as example, um, the uh, uh, motorized focuser as another example, uh, dew heaters, etc. Um, it supplies power to all of these, keeps it, keeps all of the power upstairs basically so that you don't have uh, a lot of power cables running all the way down the, uh, the setup. Now this could be very good for cable management and um, I'm going to give it a try and see how it works out. Since unboxings can be kind of boring, um, I'm just going to open this one really quick and uh, have a quick look inside just to show you what it comes with and then I'll get around to installing it and see how it works and see how effective uh, using something like the Pegasus Astro Power Box is. So let's go look at what's inside the box real quick and uh, then we'll get uh, started on installing it. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in. Uh, nicely uh, done, Pegasus Astro. And uh, let's just quickly open this up and see what's inside. Uh, we've got a uh, brochure and we've got the instructions, which is great. Um, here's the actual power box unit itself. Let's just take it out of the packaging. So uh, there it is there and it's got uh, 12 volt uh, outputs on it for them and it's got a 12 volt DC in so you can put your AC adapter or your cigarette lighter adapter in to power it and then in turn this unit can power uh, your other accessories uh, through the 12 volt outputs. Um, on the other side we've got uh, power for a DSLR camera if you're using that um, and you've also got dew heater power and uh, USB uh, PC connection that uh, connects to your laptop or your uh, your mini computer and also a plug for the sensor uh, the sensor is for uh, temperature and humidity uh, monitoring so that uh, that comes with it um, let's just see what else is in here this is the uh, temperature and humidity sensor that plugs into the power box they supply you with a cigarette lighter adapter uh, for power you can also in turn use a 12 volt AC adapter if you have one and lastly we've got the USB to PC cable to plug in and also we've got the this is the actual power cables that come with the uh, Pegasus Astro power box. It's actually nice that they supply these. So you can plug these in to the power box itself and then run that to your accessory that you need to uh, power, be that your, your camera or your motorized focuser um, or what have you. Okay, uh, let's see here. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so now that we uh, checked out what uh, is in the box. Let's uh, get it installed on the uh, telescope. Well, I haven't quite decided yet where to install the power box unit. Um, I have to run power for the mount, the Pegasus Astro Focus Cube, and the camera. Um, I wanted to keep it uh, somewhere central. Um, I'll have to give this a little scrutiny and decide what the best place is to place this box. So let's uh, let's think on that.
Okay, well, I decided to just mount it here on the EQ6. Um, there wasn't really a lot of uh, places to choose from uh, to mount this, so if I was going to keep it central, um, I could have put it up on top of the scope, I suppose, somehow, and uh, ran the cables down, but um, this actually works out not too bad. I've got the, uh, the dew heater connected. Uh, where is it? Right there. Those are the dew heaters, and I've got a couple power leads uh, connected. And this is the uh, power, the AC adapter for the uh, power box to give it power. But uh, these two over here, one is powering the uh, Pegasus Astro Focus Cube. The other is powering the camera currently. And just see, I didn't change everything. I didn't take all of the power cables that I have currently off of the scope because this is just on loan and I don't want to dismantle everything completely and then have to put it back together. So I just wanted to be able to try it though and see how it works. And uh, we've got it hooked up here. And um, now that we've got this hooked up and it's running, um, we can go to the computer and check out the software behind it and how it works. Uh, actually, one thing I forgot to do was install the, uh, ther uh, the uh, thermometer and humidity sensor. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then we'll uh, head over to the computer. If you go to the Pegasus Astro website, that's pegasusastro.com um, forward, sla forward slash support, um, you can uh, scroll through the products, the different drivers that are available for the products. Um, in this case here, the pocket power box um, is listed and you can get uh, you can get the quick installation guide there. You can also get the product manual online. Um, you can get the drivers. So here they've got USB drivers for Windows XP 7, 8, and Windows 10. Um, and they've got USB drivers for Mac, the OS X. And of course, the uh, ASCOM um, driver is also available. So what you're gonna wanna do if you're running Windows is grab the USB drivers for Windows and grab the ASCOM drivers, download those and uh, run the uh, installation routines uh, that are with them uh, to install the software for the PowerCut power box. So we're gonna do that right now and then uh, we'll get this installed. Okay, so I downloaded the drivers from PegasusAstro.com and uh, I grabbed the uh, ASCOM driver, the uh, USB drivers, and also the Pocket Power Box uh, uh, setup install. Um, and uh, let's install this real quick and then uh, we'll open it up and have a look. Okay, now we're connected uh, to the Pegasus Astro power box. Um, it shows the uh, voltage and the current. Um, it shows the temperature and relative humidity and the dew point. Um, it also has uh, the ability to turn off the uh, power, the four power DC, uh, 12 volt DC uh, power outputs. And also you can turn off the DSLR power output. I have it turned off right now. I have the quad uh, output, the four uh, other outputs uh, turned on because they are, uh, two of them are running uh, accessories. Um, the uh, also included uh, with the software is um, dew heater control, which um, you can control both channels A and B. Um, that uh, I've got set to auto, so it uh, will monitor the temperature and relative humidity and adjust the dew heaters accordingly. We also have uh, graphs available to us of the current environment, and uh, we can show a power graph as well. You have your settings where the uh, communication port can be set, and you can turn off and on the LED indicator and change the uh, unit's uh, measurements from metric to imperial if you like. Um, and you can even reboot the controller and power on at startup, all output ports on. You can select how you want this to work. Um, we would want um, the uh, 12 volt by four outputs turned on for me. I'm not using a DSLR camera, so um, I'm using a cooled CMOS camera with this setup. So having these uh, 
12 or these four 12 volt outputs uh, turned on would be fine uh, but it will leave it at uh, at all outputs on for now and we've got some info on battery levels and uh, the version and firmware of the uh, software and up here we've got uh, uh, you can check for updates, which is nice. That's a great feature. Uh, be able to easily check for updates and, and update the software or the uh, drivers. Um, you've also got uh, the ability to export the graphs. Um, but uh, if you want to, um, I'm not going to do that. This is actually not bad because um, this is a ghost mode, so it uh, turns it sort of semi-transparent. Now, what uh, you'll be able to do with that is um, such as what I'm doing here where um, you can actually set it to stay on top and then just move it over a little bit. Now we can see what's going on with the power pocket box um, while we actually work with our acquisition software at the same time. It doesn't interfere with being able to see uh, what's, what's beneath it. So that's a nice little handy feature. So the Pegasus Astro uh, Pocket Power Box provides uh, 10 amps of power um, in total and it's fused to uh, protect your gear. Um, it'll provide, as I said, power for the telescope, the mount, uh, the camera, um, focuser, uh, dew heaters, anything else that uh, might require power and it'll keep it um, nice and tidy and upstairs on the setup so that you avoid a lot of um, a lot of cable uh, hanging down and possibly getting snagged the unit itself can ride along with your telescope if you want to install it um, in that fashion and uh, you'll avoid you'll, you'll have shorter cables as well which will avoid um, a lot of that cable mess and hanging that we uh, see a lot that happens unfortunately. Um, so this can really tidy things up for you and uh, streamline things. Uh, is the, the power box, uh, the pocket power box, is that the one for me? Probably not. Um, I need something a little more advanced than this unit. Um, I'm probably looking at the uh, Ultimate Power Box version 2, which I'm hoping to uh, do a video on as well. Um, check that one out. And that'll come in the future sometime. I'm not sure exactly a, a time frame for doing that video uh, when the Ultimate Power Box version 2 will be here. But um, that one has a few extra features such as uh, USB and being able to power um, your uh, mini computer, say your mini PC, uh, things like that. In addition to uh, streamlining the, uh, the power cable and the, the cable management. Um, but the power pocket box is great in terms of its small portability. I can really see it being used in a mobile setup where you're going out to a dark site and uh, setting up. The pocket power box is a nice compact lightweight unit that can really help um, with the power distribution. Um, essentially you've got one 12 volt uh, cable that's going to run into the pocket power box and then in turn that power pocket power box will give you four 12 volt outputs um, to power your gear with. Um, keep it nice and clean and keep it upstairs on the rig as I said. So uh, check out the power pocket box. Um, it might be right for you. Um, there's also a pocket power box advanced coming soon and I'm hoping to get a hold of one of those as well and have a look at it. It's got a few extra features as well. It doesn't have all of the features that the Ultimate Power Box version 2 has, uh, but it's got a USB hub built into it and it's got um, outputs for four outputs for 12 volt DC and do heaters and whatnot. So the Pocket Power Box Advanced is coming. Um, I heard end of March that it would be available. So maybe sometime in April here, we'll see it um, available for purchase. And uh, definitely check out uh, that one and the Ultimate Power Box version two as well. Between these three, the Power Box, uh, the Power Box Advanced, and the Ultimate uh, Power Box version two, I'm sure you're going to find something that's going to 
provide you with the features that you need for your particular setup, whether it's mobile setup and you're looking to keep things compact and lightweight, or you've got a more permanent setup where um, a more advanced unit um, can be handy. These, these other units though, I, I gotta say, are not big and, and bulky or overweight by any sense. Um, they're actually nice small compact units in themselves. They have a few more features, so they're gonna be slightly larger, but they're still actually fairly compact. So no matter what you choose, you're gonna be really happy with it. Um, and it's gonna work really well for you. I think Pegasus Astro, these are astrophotographers building uh, equipment for astrophotographers. I think that they're doing a really great job and I like a lot of the products that they're coming up with and, and putting out on the market. Um, fantastic to see that we've got um, new products emerging and that the, the hobby um, gets better and better with all this new tech that's coming into it and giving us new capabilities. So, thanks very much for watching. Clear skies to you. Don't forget to subscribe and like, and we'll see you in the next video.